guys, welcome back to All Media Services. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at, we have a Gen 2 uh, Starlink Dishy, Mr. McFlatface over here. And we've got him set up and he has intermittent problems going in and out. We've got speeds in excess of 200 and then only minutes later, we've got nothing. But there's a reason why, and there's a reason why this might be happening to a few other people. I think we might find it if we just look up. So inside our viewfinder, or our obstruction finder, you can see that there's trees literally in the spaces here. Now we've just taken and set it up here just because we want to run some testing. But this is very interesting that our, our signals are great and then not great and then great and not great. All right, so we've taken this dish and we've moved it back from our taller trees that were all around us. And we have a better uh, um, line of sight now. Now, the tops of some of these trees are still in here. Ultimately, this, this dish is going on the roof, but we have a clay roof that we have to get this mounted to, right? Or a stone roof that we have to get uh, this mounted to. So it's not gonna be quite as easy as just screwing down the mount. We have a, a little bit of work to do ahead of here, but more importantly is we wanna make sure these signals are working great and the system's working good before we go ahead and do all that work. So moving it back to here now, using the 360 line of view and this is really important because even though this satellite is pointed in a direction that looks open when you when you spot around the whole sky you see that there is a few treetops that are still in our way so this hopefully is going to clear up our intermittent signal losses at least to the most part right not perfect yet not until we get it mounted where there's no obstruction of use so let's go check it out So our problems have definitely uh, um, been solved for the most part. I mean, until we get this thing mounted on the roof, it's not gonna work 100%. But from where the dish first was, being surrounded by the two tall trees, we were getting that intermittent signal very consistently uh, all the way down to, to zero. Um, once moving it a little bit further away, where our range of view was better, we were now, um, much more consistently staying online. There still was a couple little blips on the map, but that was just because there was just little treetops in there. So pretty soon we're gonna have nothing, uh, no obstructions at all, and it should hopefully go to zero. With that being said, we're getting some great speeds. We've hit as fast as 200. So this has certainly helped and is fixing the problem. So if you're experiencing a lot of intermittent issues, uh, severe intermittent issues or even just minor ones then definitely use your um, check for obstructions or the satellite viewer inside the app and make sure that there is nothing in your line of sight 360 all the way around okay guys uh, so there is some risk involved with installing in Canada period um, welcome to the Canada Cobra it looks friendly <laughs> but that thing will try to fight me. <laughs> Let's go say hi and see what, <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> oh, maybe not. It's probably a terrible. Oh, nice large sized bird. <laughs> <laughs> Come to say I don't even know where it come from. <laughs> it's too cold out here for birds to be flying. If you have been enjoying this video, make sure to give us a subscribe or visit our website www.starlingcommunityforums.com and you can join as a free member there to get even more uh, information on the Starlink system. Guys, thank you for watching. As always, we hope that you've enjoyed and we hope to see you again.